Hello friends. In this video, we are going to study that what is a T state, what is a machine cycle and what is an instruction cycle related to the 8051 microcontroller. So let us start with our topic. <music> Controller, it is a programmable device. Programmable device means that we can write programs and for different types of applications in the 8051. Now, what are programs? They are a set of instructions, and these instructions are written in the memory of the microcontroller, and the microcontroller executes these instructions to get the result. Okay, now when these instructions they are written in the program memory so the microcontroller what the steps what are the steps which the microcontroller performs first it is going to fetch the instruction then it is going to decode that instruction that what that instruction means and then it is going to execute that instruction so the whole working of the microcontroller we can say it includes first fetching of the instruction, second decoding of the instruction and third is execution of the instruction. So the first term that is the instruction cycle, it is the time taken to execute the complete instruction by the microcontroller is called the instruction cycle. So we can uh, write the definition of instruction cycle as the time required for completing the execution of an instruction. Now this time can be like uh, 5 microseconds, 1 microsecond or 0.1 microsecond. So it can be anything in the uh, time. Okay. So the complete time taken is called the instruction cycle. Now this instruction cycle it consists of many machine cycles because when an instruction is executed uh, then suppose that instruction involves that if you have to read a data from some memory location or from an input output port or you have to write the data into the memory or to an input output port okay or if you have to add some numbers or subtract some numbers so different types the execution of an instruction it involves various steps so we can say that instruction cycle it is divided into various machine cycles Okay, so machine cycle means like uh, we have in microcontroller, we have opcode fetch machine cycle, memory read machine cycle, memory write machine cycle, then input output read machine cycle and input output write machine cycle. So because all these, uh, when an instruction is executed, it may involve read operation or write operation or fetching operation can be involved. So each instruction cycle is divided into various machine cycle and we can say that So machine cycle, if we define what is a machine cycle, then machine cycle is defined as 12 oscillator periods. In every controller, in every microcontroller, we have an oscillator which provides the clock frequency to all the internal circuitry of the controller. Okay, so all the operations uh, that is read and write operations or any of the external operations like input output read or input output write operations, they are related with the 
oscillator frequency that is clock frequency so we can say that machine cycle it is defined as 12 oscillator clock periods okay so 12 oscillator clock period is equal to one machine cycle now in a machine cycle there are six states and each state it lasts for two oscillator clock periods so if we divide the machine cycle we will have six states in that and each state is equal to two oscillator clock periods so total we will have 12 oscillator clock periods now machine cycle they can be of various types like opcode fetch then we can have memory read or memory write and we can have input output read or input output right okay so we can say that instruction cycle it consists of one or four machine cycle or we can say that when an instruction is executed the an instruction execution it will consist of one to four machine cycles okay so machine cycle it is a part of instruction cycle now in machine cycle it consists of 12 oscillator clock period so there is another term called t states now this t state it is defined as one clock period So T state is defined as one subdivision of the operation performed in one clock period. Means like a instruction cycle, it consists of various machine cycle. Now machine cycle, it consists of various T states. So in that machine cycle, suppose in one machine cycle, some operation is performed in one clock period. So that is called the T state. Or we can say that one clock period is equal to one t state okay so in place of clock period also we can use the t state so as i said that machine cycle it is each machine cycle it has six states and each state consists of two oscillator clock periods so we can say that each state of the machine cycle it will consist of two t states okay so if we talk about this is our instruction cycle In, in instruction cycle, we will have one to four machine cycles. And in machine cycle, we can have two to 12 T states. Okay. So smallest division is T state, then comes the machine cycle and then comes the instruction cycle. So the complete execution of the instruction by the microcontroller, it consists of three parts. So uh, it is divided into three parts. First part is the instruction cycle that is time required to complete the execution of the complete instruction. Then comes machine cycle in which instruction cycle it is divided into various machine cycle like if the microprocessor it is first fetching the instruction then it is decoding and then it is executing. So at the time of fetching we will have opcode fetch machine cycle. Suppose it is performing memory read operation so we will involve the memory read machine cycle and suppose Suppose that it is writing the memory then we will have the memory write machine cycle so instruction cycle it will consist of various machine cycle now in uh, every machine cycle like an opcode fetch machine cycle suppose it is completing in four clock periods so it means that four t states are involved memory read memory write it is involving three t states so total t states what we require is 20 states okay or 10 t states so this is the definition of all the three terms instruction cycle machine cycle and the t states now let's take an example 
to more clearly understand the meaning of these three terms. So in this example, we are given that 8051 microcontroller is there which is operated at 12 megahertz oscillator frequency and uh, we have to find the execution time for the following instructions means how much time is taken to execute these instruction. First instruction we have is add a comma 45 h. Okay, so we have to add the contents of the accumulator and the contents of this memory location. The number of machine cycles involved in this instruction is 1. Now oscillator clock frequency is given to us that is 12 megahertz. If we calculate the clock period, so clock period is equals to 1 by clock frequency that is reciprocal of the frequency. So we will have 1 by 12 megahertz or we can say it is equal to 0 0.8333 microseconds or if we say that time taken Okay, because in each machine cycle we have the 12 T states are there. So 12 into 0 0.833. So we will get 1 microseconds. Now this instruction it will require one machine cycle only that is opcode fetch because opcode when we are fetching this opcode we directly get the address we want we will get the data from this memory location and second data is there in the accumulator and result will be stored in the accumulator itself so here one machine cycle is involved so time taken to execute this instruction will be one microseconds Next instruction we have is SUB B A comma 55 H. This is the 8 bit uh, data which is available in the instruction. We have to subtract it from the accumulator along with the carry. Now, here the number of machine cycle is 2. For one machine cycle, we require one microsecond. So for two machine cycle, we will require two microseconds. So two microsecond is the total time taken to execute this instruction. Next instruction we have is move DPTR and a 16-bit number. This also require two machine cycles. So two machine cycle equals to Two microseconds. Fourth instruction we have is multiply A and B. This require four machine cycles. So four machine cycle is equal to four microseconds. So if we want to calculate the total time taken to execute the instruction, if the clock frequency is given to us, first we will calculate the clock period. So one clock period is equal to one T states. We will calculate that how many machine cycles are involved in the instruction. Okay. Number of machine cycles and how many... Uh, means t states are involved in that machine cycle so number of t states will be equal to the clock period 
okay so in this way we can calculate the time taken to execute any of the instruction if we know the uh, t state value or if we know the clock period and if we know the machine cycles involved in that instruction so in this video we studied that what is called a t state instruction cycle and machine cycle in 8051 microcontroller so i hope that this topic is clear to you thank you